What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. Hey, Amen. We all love the Fuji's. All three members, all right? White Clef, Lauren Hill, and Proz. Now, Proz has been the black sheep out of the group for quite some time. Didn't really have the same mainstream success when he went solo as the other artists in the group. And he's also had some legal troubles over the past few years. It looks like he's gonna have just a few more legal troubles ongoing, right? So as of right now, he's being sued for $6.5 million by a company called Open On Sunday. And just to keep it very basic, Open On Sunday is a company that will evaluate your music catalog and the amount of royalties that you're bringing in, and they will give you an upfront advance against your future royalties. Basically, they'll give you a loan of a certain amount, and you'll pay that amount back out from the royalties that you gain from your music. There's other companies out there that do the same thing. I'm going to do a more intensive overview, I should say, of uh, Open Sunday on another day. But right now, let's get into what their dealings are with Prize. So in the lawsuit, Open on Sunday is alleging that they entered into a deal with Prize back in January that included a loan agreement. The loan was secured using the musician's royalties from Sony Music for his work with the Fugees and his 1998 solo album. In February, the lawsuit states that Prize asked for an amendment to that agreement to secure the loan on a book deal rather than using his music royalties, which the company says that they declined. Now, in May, the company actually began legal proceedings that included foreclosing on the assets that they said they were supposed to get, which was the royalties from Sony Music, on which Prize secured that loan, and the rapper failed to meet his obligations per the loan agreement. At that point, Open on Sunday discovered Prize had a deal with Harbor View. Furthermore, the lawsuit alleges that Prize and his legal team forged a release document to show that Open on Sunday had agreed to accept the book deal in place of those royalties on which the loan is based. Open on Sunday includes Harborview as a defendant in the lawsuit for its lack of due diligence, stating that it eagerly accepted the release that they knew or should have known was forged. As a result, the lawsuit accuses Prize of breach of contract and his legal team of fraud. Open on Sunday is also alleging that the musician asked for an additional $3 million loan. This loan was to fund his defense counsel relating to a criminal investigation into his connections with the Malaysian businessman Joe Lowe and the One Malaysia Development Bird scandal. I don't really know too much about that. Let's see what that is. So to keep it brief on that situation, it's looking like Prize was connected with this Malaysian company and funneling illegal money into the 2012 election. This is about 10 years ago, and he's still trying to fight the allegations or whatever the case is with that. Not really important to this story, but somewhat important because he was trying to get money from Open on Sunday in order to secure further defense in that case. Prize legal team says that they heavily dispute Open on Sunday's version of the events, claiming that they had agreed to amend the loan on the book deal rather than those royalties. So they're saying, hey man, that's not true. Y'all said it was okay to uh, fund us based on this book deal. Among those named in the lawsuit is Prize attorney Robert S. Maloney, who tells Law 360 there was no forgery, it's a bogus claim, the whole thing. Now, I'm not a legal professional, I'm not anyone who to say who's right or wrong in this situation, but I do think that it's kind of fishy, it's a little bit suspicious to go to a music rights organization that pays you based on the value of your music catalog to get money for a book deal. Proz is not an established author, so there's no track record of him selling books so it doesn't make any sense because what Open on Sunday does is they evaluate your music royalties. Somebody just like you or me could go put in an application on Open on Sunday, which I have done. I got declined and I'm going to tell you about that later. I was a little heartbroken. But the whole thing is they evaluate your royalties from BMI, Sound Exchange, any other performance rights organizations that you have. You can connect your distro kid, uh, music distribution, all of those networks into this portal and they will check how much money you're making. And based on how much you make per year, they will give you an advance to say, we'll front you the money now and then we'll collect it later. Now, after some investigation on why I got declined, they said that they want to find people that make at least $10,000 per year in royalties. I think I was kind of on the cuff of that precipice, you know what I'm saying? So maybe next year I'll be able to do that. However, it just doesn't seem right that you would go to a music rights, music catalog place to get money for a book. It will make a lot more sense that you will go to them with 
your catalog and say, hey, I need 6.5 or I, I need $3 million and I will cut you guys in on all of the royalties that I'm currently making off of my work with the Fugees and my solo album that I put out years ago. This money is still funding me, but of course I'm not getting access to it very quickly because the payments only come out in six months increments you know what i mean so you would go to somebody who can give you that money and you give them the access to your royalties that makes perfect sense people do this all the time people are selling their catalogs for the same exact reason but to say that you tried to switch it up on them and be like nah i don't want to do the music royalties no more i want to actually uh exchange that out for the rights to my book but if you put your book out and you sell five copies then you're never gonna be able to pay that back anyway. It doesn't make any sense. So although I am not here to try to incriminate Proz, I don't know what his personal or business dealings are. I don't want anybody to take that out of context. It just does not seem logical to make that type of move. There's other companies out there that will proceed to give you money on your book deal that are more versed in the book community or just a finance company that's willing to do that. And I still got mad love for Proz. Lauren Hill and Wyclef, okay? So I don't want nobody out there, especially not the other members of the Fugees to look at me sideways if they ever see this video. I'm just giving y'all the information that's in front of me and because it's music related and I think this is important for people to understand, I'm gonna do commentary on it, all right? Let me know what y'all think of this story down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time seeing me. I will catch you guys on the next one, all right? Much love and respect y'all. Peace.